and area 10. Full equipment, helmets, energy recovery, green drink, go orange radio, everything. And same music as in st stage 5. And some whistling sound, laser, con gun, laser cannons at the roof. Nothing. Real annoying sound. But luckily they don't appear much. And some place where the good demand needs to do a bit of swing up tactic. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, look, luckily the binding arm allows for a lot of maneuvers. Ah, uh, like, nah, not, not like that. Grabbing too fast. Uh, like this. Yeah, these final stages include way more of these multiple sw swings chained together. But what if this game does not have any of that, uh, you could say, death falls to places that you, you really can't tell where they go? And at this phase, I have to actually use environmental hazard. To my bet as my mode of transport because ah, shit. Because well <sighs> Oh yeah, like that. What was a bit what bit clumsy by me. Once more communicating. M8, well, new developed bazooka that is obtained from a man named Hal. That's a uh, quite important thing. It will be very later. But there's actually just one place in the game where you actually use that thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is a, you could say, a bit of a more, more bit annoying face. Oh, shit! I wonder, could I do the basically? Do it like this. But I'm gonna swing up here, and then I'm gonna drop myself to the platform as it's below me. It seems that... Uh, no, I can't do that. Shit. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's up, the, uh, amp up the difficulty a shitload. It's completely bullshit. Uh, come on. Uh, fuck. And, but there's not... There's real nothing. <sighs> yeah. It's gonna get bad. But let's try it. Oh yeah, this method works. I can see the platform below me, so I can just drop on it. Yep, like this. And walk off. Yep, quite hard face, and that's it. Oh. And it's dropping robots. Those are, you could say, they are, they are nothing really dangerous. Uh, uh, let's just check the pause menu. How much did I have on my at my last life? Yeah, yes, I am. Oh yes, you have found the intruder. You found. You found it that it's saying blue blue yourself, blue you to hell.
one up. Oh yeah! At least I got one one up. That pit face. These final stages have these, you could say, some really nasty platforming ma maneuvers to be done. This is not one of those nasty platforming maneuvers I have to do. But even if I would die, die, die I could still use, use my continue and, and keep going without, like, there was nothing happening. Not this stage. Fire. Just a swing it through the roof. Not even looking at what's been beneath me. A big guy without any kind of death animation. Yes, please. And but luckily these springy anime springy things do provide you a. Yeah, and those guys also sw swing their fists at you, which they don't hit you because you can core duck beneath them. Yeah. He's got a big gun. Oh yeah, getting forward. But this, and the problem with this stage was basically called something like a firm uh, boundary or it was some, some kind of metal working stage. And here's one of the more difficult maneuvers of the game. Hoping I get to it. Yep. Now oh, look at that nice swing. It's so manly. Good. Using damage boost. L luckily they made it so that you don't have to be doing that perfectly. You can damage boost. Good. 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 I kill you here. I killed you and I blew up your turret as well. And I blew up that too because I really like how they are whistles. And I blew up this one too. That's basically the most difficult phase of the game. Unless, of course, you got the final boss. Which is quite difficult. Area 12, Imperial Headquarters. So, time to descend. With full set of abilities. Yep. Extra special stage music flag. So there's a communication spot. Let's just communicate. Yeah. Want well, the power system? Destroy it. Simple as that. And I'm already doing it. Yeah, it's real it's nice that they added this kind of little things to do to this. Funnily enough, when you when, when it's actually uh, check check out and you actually make it. Spencer actually is wearing sneakers in the remake. He, he's not wearing any, you could say, regulation footwear. He's wearing sneakers. But yeah, just regular things to be blown up. With a nice, simplistic about to uh, out of kaboom. I may get shocked by thing. 
I wasn't shocked by thing because it doesn't reach the edge completely. But it's still scary. Quite nice gameplay design in that sense. And some few straggler soldiers left in this place. How are you? Oh. If I blow up 20, I get the almost maxed out amount of health. Okay, getting lower. And this leads to the other. It's a boss encounter. You again? Yeah, they they reuse bosses quite a lot. Just getting through. Just getting through. Just blowing him up. Solve the problem. A bit of head rick herring, you could say. Distraction or how whatever is the actual term. Yeah, these electric sparks are really annoying. They hit you and do damage and all that, and that kind of nonsense. But here, drop starts to drop enemies. Drop to the final place where you can actually farm them up. So let's just do it. Mostly because once I blow them all up, I get the maximum amount of the health of that moment. Uh, I really want to get to this stage without being killed. Not that I am really worried about being killed, more like, more like you could say a matter of pride. Oh yeah, now oh, oh, I got good. That's all good. And now I have to climb up, but luckily in this game, going up is usually way easier than going down. Because you can climb up these platforms, but you can't climb down. Get down. And another communications room must be the last of the game. Yeah. Well, that sounds like a plan. No one kill kill the Mr. Weird looking dude with a hat. Kill. He's gonna be killed. Oh yeah, and that's another barrier which is deactivated, so there's nothing hazard here. And the final hazard before the final boss. Quite simple swing, swing a challenge over a bit of spikes. Nothing really complex. And it's the final boss. 
Well, I wasn't here, but you, you saw me. Something happens. Oh, something unexpected happens. Yeah, he's got somebody's coming out. Say hello to Mr. Filter, and he speaks English. Yeah, Nintendo didn't probably check this, uh, don't, don't check this when they, when they sold it. Or maybe they did, because there's something awesome. Yeah, there's a, there is a filter here. And final boss. Yeah, it... It has these kind of turrets that it sh shoots. Ma making it so... Making something a bit of and it, it moves about and I have to blast it out of existence. It's a bloody swing, swing around with moving platforms challenge. But once I get, but, but, but once I get to the, you can say the soft spot, managed to anchor myself there. It's gonna take a lot of damage from me. And of course, timing is important so that you don't get. Immediately blasted by that by that one spider pillar. Oh yeah, I get I did some damage to it. Yeah, this uh, the boss is very pattern based, but. Kind of frustrating because you have to. The swings must be very exact, and there's a lot of time involved. But now it's boom. The final boss defeated. In the remake, it was completely on stage. Uh, but it's not over yet, it's an escape sequence. Huh? Well, he is half. And uh, he was a wounded. Uh. And now, in the final battle. All about timing. If I fail, I die. Try it one more time and then I have to resolve to save state just to avoid doing this stage again because I'm this close to ending. Oh shit. Yeah, it's like that.
save state done. And it was needed, unneeded. But I still it's a bunny. Well maybe this is the reason why did they go let Hitler through? Uh, uh, but, 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 but. Yeah, you get to blow up Hitler's head with a fucking bazooka. It's awesome. It's great. Every egg in this actual film should have its made and made bad got being shot with a bazooka. Real space will explode in 60 seconds. Evacuate right away. And one more escape sequence. Final boss, timing puzzle, escape sequence. But luckily, the time limit is generous. And this guy... Groder. Imperial Champion Groder. But his leg stays here to be exploded to pieces. Of course, you could, uh, it, I could fight him. And it's over. Oh, we still in Zack. Oh, get back in. Big whistles. Stop fight. Explosions. With a nice big cartoon kaboom. And helicopter. The name Rad. Actually, it should be Rad. It, it was later codified to be a Rad. Later, Rad Spencer. It was a nickname. It, and he would be promoted to major. And then he would get, get into court martials and all that kind of things. Because of all, the fact that, well, they let they in the remakes. It's not just that kind of swingy bit. It's a completely new a new arm. Yeah, all of that. 4th of July 1989. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we won. Yeah, winner is me. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really strange that they, in every, almost every Mario Kart game, they've used uh, uh, Super Joe as uh, narrator of the story, as clunky as it is. So it's all the makers, all the dudes who make this game, yeah, yeah, yeah. With completely bizarre states that, but the amount, of maker, the amount of maker of these games is actually very small in compared to modern games. But then again, there's classic games in modern age made by one or two people, but this had more. Mr. FF, what's that? Mr. Fuckface? Hard to say. Or Mr. 255, if that's in hexadecimal. But there was also something else after the... Eighth of February, 2010. That's tw almost 12 years ago. Joe. Yeah. Interesting. I feel that. But, well, can't remember. That was Bionic Commando. Fine game. Quite simple. Little playthrough. Nothing like that. You have to say that these kind of distant dates are nowadays just pass. <laughs> 